Hey, I just got back from New Hampshire. <laughs> and it was an interesting couple of days for me. I had to plan a very tight scheduled two day situation where I had to leave my home by five in the morning and I arrived back two mornings later at 2.30 in the morning. Four plane rides, one hotel stay, three car rides <laughs> and yeah it was planes trains and automobiles basically so we're gonna see how we do it and stay on lion diet or just carnivore diet similar situations but we'll talk about it for both hang around Here I am up early in the morning, getting ready for a big trip. Uh, well, a big trip for me anyway. For business, I am flying up to New Hampshire today. So I've never been to New Hampshire. We'll see how that goes. I'm driving up there early this morning to, to fly from Orlando to uh, wherever, and then we're gonna have to take another flight. I'm not a big on flying, so I'm a little nervous. But I am making me a nice big steak to start off the day, even though it's only a little after 4 in the morning. I wanted to start off with a good full stomach. Thankfully, we are supposed to have a steak tonight. But I don't know what I'm doing all day tomorrow. So uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to do this and get through another trip time for work that isn't going to throw my diet for a loop. Let's see how I do it. I'm going to start off by making sure I got something good to eat this morning. As part of my plan, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of carnivore crisps to take with me on the trip. Just to be extra sure, while I'm waiting for my steak to rest, I'm also cooking up some eggs. So three eggs and about an 18 ounce ribeye to start the day. Should be finishing up with a ribeye uh, or some kind of steak tonight, depending on how they cook it. Um, it's something I had to order ahead of time, but they didn't have any notes for options. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, we'll see. But uh, tomorrow may be a fasting day. I am bringing some carnivore crisps though, just to make sure. Nothing beats carnivore diet for good eating. Well, this is a first for me, flying business anywhere. And I'm also used to getting on the plane when it's attached to the building, not walking in the rain. Oh well, here we go. Just arriving in Manchester, New Hampshire. Never been here before. Never been this far north before that I can think of. It's right at 4 p.m. So I've been up for 12 hours now, ate about 11 hours ago. Still doing pretty good as far as food goes. I love flying. So we just arrived at the hotel and uh, we got a few minutes before we got to be somewhere. Even though I've been up for 13 hours now, still going on one meal, doing just fine. And that's not really that big a deal because that's not the first time I've gone that long. Heck, I've gone 42 hours without a meal. So what makes it unique though, is that I haven't flown in about 13 years, but I remember <laughs> very quickly from getting on the plane, how I feel about flying. I'm not for it. I like the idea of getting where I'm going quickly, but that taking off part and sometimes even the landing part, a little bit rough on the nerves. I noticed my palms were sweating. <laughs> I think it's probably a little bit of my fear of being out of control of things. It was a little bit, little bit nerve wracking for me. And I think um, one of the things I used to do in the past is when they would come around with the snack tray and the drinks, just load me up with whatever you got. It was a way of releasing some of that tension. Well, this time I was able to ignore all that stuff. All I had was a club soda, didn't eat any of my pretzels or peanuts or anything else they gave me. Heck, even when we got to the hotel, they had uh, food for us uh, in a, a bag for the business that we're visiting. 
So I got an apple and a bag of sweet and salty treats sitting over there that not going to do me any good. Heck, even coming into the, the lobby of the hotel, I noticed that all the stuff they had available for you, there's, there's nothing to munch on if you're on a carnivore diet. There's a few waters and some uh, sparkling waters. Sparkling waters have flavor, which I won't drink. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a different mentality when you travel on carnivore than it, than it is when you're used to eating just about anything and you're used to eating a lot of comfort food. So it's a challenge, but it's a good one. Back in my hotel room after uh, first day, I would say on the road, but I've been in the air most of the day. Um, got through the entire day until my dinner, had my steak and I'm done. I am so ready for bed, y'all. It is, geez, what time is it? It's 9.09. <laughs> I never used to be this early to bed, but I'm about to hit the hay. This is, of course, part of the problem is that the food that they give you to eat at these events is all stuff that's not going to be on a carnivore diet except for maybe the bacon there but the problem is a lot of times they use uh, maple on the bacon or some brown sugar potatoes that are fried are definitely not on the diet and eggs though you know lion diet is not normally eggs but I don't even know if those are really eggs and they certainly use some sort of vegetable oil and then here later you get all kind of snacks so Nothing you can really do if this is the food that's provided for a lion diet. You could eat some of the meat off of those sandwiches for carnivore diet. You know, but I brought my carnivore crisps. So I'm sitting on the plane next to a guy named Jerry. who's a vegan. And it's been extremely pleasant talking to him. He was surprised seeing my carnivore crisps. <laughs> but didn't complain. Just told me his story about how he was doing things for his health and I told him mine and we were both happy about it. I think that's the way it should be right there. I may not agree with his lifestyle and he may not agree with mine, but it ain't no sense fighting about it. got home. It is 2.30 in the morning and all I ate today was carnivore crisps. That's uh, that's what like two and a half and 1.2 so it's like five ounces of meat <laughs> but I made it. I'm gonna have a nice steak in the morning though I'll tell you that. So I'm back. I made it back to Florida. Man, I gotta tell you, it was amazing to me how much the temperature difference was. I didn't pack for anything cold. I went up there with uh, two short sleeve shirts and two pairs of slacks. And I even wind up ruining one of my pairs of slacks. So I only had one pair for the whole trip because I, I ruined them before I even got on the first plane ride. But I traveled light because I haven't been on a plane since 2009. So it was a bit nerve-wracking getting on a plane again. I was kind of surprised at how my body reacts to it because I can feel myself on the plane feeling like, you know, I've done this before. Look at the people that are on the plane. Nobody's acting weird or scared or concerned. And even the airline attendants are, are relaxed. And they're, you know, they're youngsters. They, they look like people who are just regular folks. And they do this for a living. So... As weird as that sounds, I've had a hard time with heights all my life, but I enjoy flying. I'm just glad when it's over. I'm always glad for the plane to, to land. That's <laughs> four plane, plane rides, four plane hops was a lot for me. There's nothing greatly difficult about that. It's simply this. When you're on a diet like this, you don't want to let 
your hunger and your emotions or any cravings or anything get in the way of you eating the right foods. Being prepared for a trip like this can stop a lot of pain. If you have situations like I do where your gut reacts badly to vegetables and lectins and whatever else, I and mean, it seems like everything except meat gives me a hard time. But anyway, it just wasn't a day for me to be thinking about fasting. I was hungry. And so the carnivore crisps really came in handy. The first night, the steak also was beautiful, so I was able to make it. I mean, two days isn't a terribly long trip, but getting through it and not coming back with gut issues and being able to say that I stuck with what I stuck with, what's going to make me healthy, keep me healthy, made me very happy. And you can do it too. I'm sorry if I'm eating and talking at the same time. I gotta get Levi to his first karate tournament. So that's that. I had to wrap this video up quick because I got another big day ahead of me and I didn't get very much sleep last night. So I'll see you guys next time. Screw it. Get up and do it. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Can I help you? Hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Here. You want some meat?